Hello there, guys. On the woods again. It's uh, late January, northern Wisconsin. I'm I'm in a national forest area. I actually parked right on the highway and shoveled off a spot, and I have my car today. So it's pretty tough doing anything in a car this type of environment but I think I'm gonna manage so I shoveled off the spot and I got my car as far off the road as I could and uh, I just hiked in about I don't know a half mile and I'm gonna head down there's a there's a like a spring here a creek and a spring I'm kind of in the area of so I actually looked online and looked for a place that was like a evergreen forest like a boreal forest and I found this area and this is it I mean look at how much pine trees we have there's still hardwoods mixed in but as I get closer to this creek it gets more and more spruce and spruce and hemlock and fir and I haven't seen any pine trees, but spruce and fir mostly. I got my sled here. I tried to go light, or not light, but I tried to go pack differently. So I just have a small pack, and then everything is in the sled. It's pretty tough. It's only a four foot sled. It's just a cheap little plastic kid sled, but you need to keep the weight low, otherwise, it gets it tips over and that was a bit of a struggle but I think I got it it's riding pretty well and this whole trip I'm really planning on I got it planned out I'm gonna try to be more efficient the last time I went out I kind of wasn't prepared I ended up getting out of the forest and not spending the night and I'll explain more about what I'm going to do that will make this trip more successful. But I want to keep moving and get to camp. So I just got this like hooked up to my belt here. I'm not even holding the rope. So let's get moving. Here's some pine trees. This is a red pine. See the long needles. Evergreens have needles, but pine trees have like long sewing needle type needles. All right guys, this is gonna be my camp. Right here, this, there's a little opening here. Seems kind of flat. There's a big opening right behind the camera where those pine trees are that I just showed. But uh, this is it. So I want to talk about my, my method change for today. My winter camping procedure where I'm at. Okay, so the plan is I'm going to hike into an area. And when I'm about ready to camp, when I start looking for a campsite, I'm looking for dead standing firewood the decision on where i set up camp is based on firewood so i'm gonna walk in and i found there's a tree here it's about this big around 30 feet high dead and i look around there's all sorts of stuff dead snapped off all over so there's lots of firewood right here so this is my spot so step one is to start cutting firewood in the winter, you need firewood. And if you wait and later and you, if you put it off, 
then it, you it, you become more restless, more uneasy about your situation. So step one is firewood, and while I'm cutting firewood for the next hour, I'm going to kind of look around and see where's the best spot to make my shelter. And to make my shelter easier, I'm just going to do a simple plow point. So I'm not cutting any poles or anything. Just string one end up to a tree, the other to the ground, and run the corners out. And that's my shelter. And I'm going to do that last, later. So I'm going to get some firewood going, and then I'm going to get a fire going right away, and I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat lunch. And then I'm going to start boiling water. So one of the issues I had last time is I was carrying a ton of water and this time I'm carrying just one liter of water and I'm just gonna boil snow all day over and over and over and build up my water supply so that's why I have uh, that's why fire is number one so get some stuff down make a small fire get the water going get lunch going and then keep cutting keep cutting and keep making water and keep cutting and then once I have a good supply of wood I can set up my shelter and my shel shelter should go up pretty quick so I'm gonna get to work here It's okay. It's okay. Okay, lunch time. So I got the pie irons again. We're gonna do uh, pizza pudgy pie. So we got bread, some pizza sauce. Mozzarella. Pepperoni.
Oh, I had to move the camera. I was getting smoked out big time. All right, let's try this again. Something just like that. Probably too much. Pepperoni, put a little bit more cheese on top. To try to seal it. And then another piece of bread. squish it so my new method is to squish it with its when it's not hooked because then you can squish flat because when it's hooked it's kind of at an angle not like a flat. I don't know if you know what I mean or not. There. That's it. Put the latch. And let's put it on the fire. is over there and it's intending to actually stuck to one side the other side came right off Let's see if I can get it unstuck oh you know what I don't think the other side's done okay now I got it apart Pretty hot. It smells like pizza. Ah, I'm gonna have to give it a minute.
All right, guys, it's time to set up the shelter. It's about 3.15. I got two hours of light. It'll be getting, it'll be pretty dark in about two hours. So the plan is to just do a plow point, is what they call it. It's not a, my tarp isn't square. I never really see anybody talk about doing it with a rectangle tarp, but I'm pretty sure it'll work. Another thing I did this trip is to make it easier and quicker is I brought my tent stakes instead of making them. Minimal benefit, but there is a benefit. It is easier. Okay, so I don't like the orientation. I need to rotate the whole thing. An update on the firewood this is what I got so far I'm gonna get a lot more that pine spruce uh, I think it's mostly fir and spruce here the fir and spruce just burn so quick and there's no coals so I don't know either get a ton of it or look for something else I got a little bit of here I think it's popple uh, poplar, we call it popple in Wisconsin, but it's actually like a quaking aspen or something, I think, but, yeah, I don't know, just an update here, I got another, a good hour of work, so I'm gonna keep at it, doing pretty good though, the first pot of water there is pretty full now with snow, it was all snow, but now it's melted water, so the water is full. Um, I gotta get it to a boil, but I gotta keep adding to that fire. But that'll get me, that's, I think it's two liters in that pot, so that's a good start. If I can do that one more time tonight, 
I'll be in good shape. All right, here's what I got. I moved the fire. It was there to here. It just picked up again. And then here's the shelter. All right, just a plow point. So you can see inside, it's just a big triangle basically. My feet will go down in the corner. And then, planning on feeding the fire tonight, overnight, to keep me warm. So we'll see how that goes. And the water was boiling, so now I just pulled it off. You can see all the debris in there. I'll try to strain it with a cloth I have. We'll see if it works. But I'm going to let it cool a little bit and then transfer it to my bottle and my pouch. Alright, I'm going to try to do the water. I'm going to try to transfer the water to my bottle. See how it goes. I don't know how to do it, so lots of debris in there. And I have this cotton cloth. So I'm just going to see if I can just do something like this. I don't know if this is going to work. There, that wasn't too bad. And I got a whole bottle now. And there's some water in there. But when you melt snow, you're supposed to start with some water. So I'm gonna just leave that and then fill it up again. Alright guys, let's set the bed up while we got a little bit of light. You'll be able to see me do it. So I brought my ground sheet for my tent. two-man tent just as a bit of a vapor barrier and keep everything cleaner and the next thing I got is my canvas bivy this was a canvas sleeping bag that I used to have and I cut it up all right I modified it right I cut all the insulation out of it so now it's just canvas there's nothing but canvas there's none of the flannel or none of the synthetic filling foam. And then I stitched it back up and put the zipper on. I'm going to use it as like a bivy. I'm hoping it'll add a little bit of warmth.
inflatable pad. I'm going to have my foam pad here too, but I use that around camp to kneel on and sit on and stuff. And then this is the sleeping bag. It's rated for 20 degrees. It's going to be single digits tonight. So it's not warm enough. And then this is a wool blanket. 90% wool blanket. Cheap one. And that's it. That's what I got for tonight. Alright guys, I got camp cleaned up a little bit here. I'm going to dinner started got some more wood to cut but I got a big log laying here so I can kind of saw it up tonight a little bit tonight we are making a chili headquarters chili should fill me up nice and warm hydrate me so I'm gonna get started on that all right guys I don't think I was filming but I'm getting started here. I just chopped up the green pepper and the onion. So that's all here. I got to check my directions. So I got to fry the onion and green pepper and I got to brown the meat. Alright, the meat's browned. Okay, I gotta add this. I gotta drain the meat, drain the grease. I'm gonna go right on the fire with it, I guess. I don't want to. Enough. Can't get this any closer, can I? So, spices. We got cumin. Cumin, I need a little bit less than a teaspoon. Say like that. Chili powder, I need a little bit more than a tablespoon. This doesn't fit. Let's 
Stay like that. And cayenne pepper. A little less than a teaspoon. Say like that. I also need the garlic. Veggies didn't really fry. But, ooh, that is a hot, 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 hot. Just the side that was oh, by the fire. In the frame, and uh, okay, add the veggies, and I also got to add two whole tomatoes, the whole thing, but you just cut it up. And then you add some water. We'll see you like that. And now I just cook for 30 minutes and then add a can of beans. So I'll check in with you guys when it's ready. Alright guys, it's time to eat. I need this.
that's delicious. Oh my god. Oh, this is so good. I think I'm done for the night. I gotta. I've been splitting wood and sawing all day, and I'm just soaking wet. My pants are soaking wet. They're frozen. Everything is just tough out here in the winter by yourself. So much work to do. Yeah. Oh well. This meal will go a long way to keep me warm tonight too. I'm struggling with firewood tonight too. I'm cutting down these dead spruce trees and they're so rotted and they don't burn well. I just can't, I don't have a good fire. Just smoldering mess with no flame. Got a beer too, you know that. Waiting all day for this guy. Yeah, that's good. All right, I'm going to turn the camera off and eat. Put some wood on the fire. All right, guys, I'm all set for bed. I got camp all cleaned up. And I'm ready to get in the sleeping bag. Long day. Should be a good sleep. See you guys in the morning. Good morning guys, I decided I'm going to skip breakfast, um, honestly I didn't even clean my pots last night, they're chilly, so I saw somebody mention it's called a mess kit because you just keep your mess inside, so that's what I did, I emptied it out and then I uh, just closed it up and put it in my bag. So I'm just going to get an early start and get out of here. Maybe head into town and get some breakfast. So last night, the fire that I tried to feed all night did not work very well. The rotten spruce trees that I'm burning just don't burn. They just smolder. So most of the night, I just had like some logs on the fire just smoldering and I could see coals but there was no flame so I don't know if it did a lot for my for warming me but I was warm enough it was obviously cold out but I was pretty I was warm enough I wasn't in, in any danger so it's good to know I had quite the sleep system when, I ha when you have like five different layers, it's tough to keep everything straight. And my zipper was like underneath me the second half of the night. But it went pretty good. Yeah, so I just got to hike out of here and then hit the road. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like it, Hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you guys next time.